he is one of the pioneers of this game. Originally starting out in Pancrase alongside Ken Shamrock, Maskatu Funaki, and many others. Matt Hugh tonight returns to the ring for the first time in several years since the Extreme Fighting Championships. And here's the man whom he will be facing. Shannon Griggs was right on the side of that man. Stephen Bluerow for the first time ever in hook and shoot. Along with Matt Hughes, that is Payne Peters on your screen. He's not going to get the ovation here that he does in Canada, but I assure you when this man steps foot inside a mixed martial arts competition in Canada, they all know who he is. This one will be interesting. There is some trash talking. Payne Peters known for his annex outside of the ring more than in the ring. But don't take him lightly. Potential three-round fight. Matt Hume says he's going to show Payne Peters what respect really means. And Payne Peters says he's coming to fight. And he will do his talking now in the ring, he will be given the opportunity at least. Referee Sean Brockmall, final instructions to both fighters. And you has got to be feeling some stress. First time doing mixed martial arts in uh, at least four or five years. So this is going to be interesting. Bree Smith in the corner of Matt Hugh, Justin Buckman in the corner of Payne Peters. And we will see if he lives up to that name of Payne. Set to go round number one here, Hook and Shoot, the absolute fighting champion for the first time in Florida, and we're underway. Faking a kick is Payne Peters, Matt Hume just backs off. You went a little bit high. Oh, Payne Peters with a foot jab, front kick, and he's clinched. Look out, deadly knees could be coming from Matt Hume. You see him knee Pat Militich right in the nose, and that's how he owes the defeat over Pat Militich, extreme fighting. And Payne Peters persistent on keeping Matt Hume in his corner, tied up. Pressed up against the corner. Nice knee to the midsection. Then Hume tried to go high. There's those high knees shown by a lot of the AMC guys. Now the two are backing up off the ropes. Oh, Payne Peters with a takedown. And Matt Hume turns it into a mount. Oh, Matt Hume kind of having some fun there. Poking on Payne Peters' head. And Matt Hume has him mounted. He's looking around at the crowd and smiling. And there's a hammer shot. Hume trying to pick his shots. Jokingly, Hume said, I don't know if I'm going to try to submit him and make him uh, or punish him a little bit. Now that is a high mount. Payne Peters' arms are almost completely tied up. He's Oh, nice transition into armbar, and there's a tap. And you fully extend the arm of Payne Peters. The nice return to the ring. As we look back, here's a takedown. Matt Hugh and many of the guys he trains with, including Aaron Riley and Ivan Salve say he's hard to take down, but look at this. Beautiful sweep right over into the mound. And here's a look at that armbar. Throws it over. He turns it. Turns the thumb up and out. Fully extended. 
Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner of one minute, 45 seconds in the very first round. For the winner, I tap out due to the lower bar, making his hook and shoot debut. So the man they call the wizard works his magic here tonight. An arm bar submission victory as Matt Hughes takes that huge broken arm. Here's a look from the other angle. You'll see him turn the thumb upward and pull down, extend the hook. Hughes tips completely up down to a beautiful arm bar submission. You guys enjoyed yourselves? The reason I came back to fighting is about respect. My opponent didn't have much before the fight made me a little less, you know? And I want to, I want to start that lesson right now because what it's about is what Isaac Newton said. If I have done great things, it's because I've stood on the shoulders of giants. And one of my giants happens to have his birthday today. One of the men who paved the way in this sport, he's a true legend, Mr. Louis Smith. Thank you. Happy birthday.